Welcome back. Are you scared of updating future pinball but want to play all of those greatest new tables Terry Red's putting out? Like Retro Flare, Star Wars, Jaws, Halloween, and so much more, but you're just not quite sure if you want to pull the trigger. I'm ready to help you. Let's pull the trigger today. I've got Terry Red's guide pulled up here, and I'm going to run through all the steps with you. You're welcome to do this on your own, but some people need a little encouragement. That's what I'm here for. So I've scrolled down and I've gone to table requirements. All these links will also be in the video description so you can all have an all-in-one shop. The first one we're gonna do is the Visual C Plus updates. There's an all-in-one distribution for this, so we're gonna click on the link, hit download, choose the server, and grab this file. So now that you've downloaded the file, go ahead and go to where you downloaded the file and open it up. We're gonna unzip all of these files and extract them somewhere where we can manage them. For me, I'm just gonna go into my vpinball directory, create a temp folder and throw them in there. All right, now we should be able to double click install all dot bat. I already have a lot of these updates, but this is going to run through all of the visual uh, runtime packages one by one. And if you do not have one, you'll get prompted to install it on your computer. And hit yes. It looks like I am missing a few packages. Error occurred. We'll click OK. I believe that happened on my cab too, and there was no real detriment. It goes pretty quick. So far we've got four or five out of the eight or so. Asking for permission with each run. And just get all these packages installed. Should bring you up to date. This could solve another problem you're having if you didn't have the runtime installed for something and you're getting a weird error. You never know. A couple of these may take longer than some others. They might be a little larger. The 2022 is fairly large, so don't be alarmed if it takes a minute to install. So we've completed all of the runs for the distributable. So now we're gonna go future pinball required 1.5-3.53 or higher is required. So we're gonna go ahead and go to ravarcade.pl. Uh, you back up your entire folder download the latest BAM, not the two-in-one. And we're gonna go through those instructions now. So head over here, click on BAM, downloading the EXE file. All right, we have the executable file, but before we do anything with that, we're gonna navigate to wherever your virtual pinball is installed. For me, it's HV Pinball. I'm gonna go into Future Pinball, and I am gonna back up this folder here. Uh, I'll go ahead and for myself, I'm just gonna send it via 7-zip and add it to an archive. Call it bam.7-zip and let that zip up. And this will create a backup for me of my bam folder. So that once I open up the file, I've got all my folders, files, settings, configurations, etc. as Terry describes in the document that we're gonna need those later. So uh, let's grab this executable, double click, and go ahead and hit more info and run anyways when Microsoft Defender comes up. And here we go. I have backed up my, I have downloaded, and we are going to now install the latest version. I'm gonna navigate to where I have Future Pinball installed, and that is H Visual V Pinball Future Pinball. And that should be my path. So now, for you, that path may differ, but you want to go to the root of your future pinball folder. Looks like we're good to go. Hit next. Set up will create the program shortcuts in the following step menu. That's fine. And install. Okay. And 
now, before we launch BAM, Terry says, copy your BAM config, reality.dat, and default.cfg file from your backup folder and replace them in your BAM folder. So we're gonna navigate over here to Future Pinball. We're gonna open up that zip file that I created earlier. And I'm just gonna look for those three files. First one he said was reality.dat. Second one he said was default.config, which is there. And we also need bam.config. So these three files here, we're gonna copy and move them into our BAM folder. So uh, do that however your program does it. 7-Zip's a little odd in that regard, but here we go. Future Pinball, BAM, click OK. And yes, I wanna overwrite the existing files. You do this after the upgrade, ladies and gentlemen, because it puts your configuration settings back into the system. So now that we've done that, Terry has some configuration files that you I actually started with. Um, and the other three files we just discussed. There's a link later in the guide for that, and maybe we'll discover uh, that together as well. The next item you need, and this will take you a minute to download, this is a four gigabyte patch. Essentially allows uh, executable, in this case, Future Pinball and FP Loader, to be patched and allow them to use four gigabytes of RAM. By default, a 32-bit program can only use two gigabytes. So this patch, we're gonna go ahead and follow this link, um, this works for a lot of other programs, by the way, but we're going to go ahead and download this patch. It'll take a few minutes to download, so be patient. Let that come down to your machine, and then we'll continue along here. All right, so now we've downloaded that patch. It's down here and ready to go. The next part of Terry's instructions, which I will also link you to, but uh, recommend that you read the directions explaining how to patch this, and I have gone there here. Essentially, Future Pinball is old. It's a 32-bit program and we need more RAM. So here we go. We're gonna just go ahead and copy the executable and throw that into our virtual Future Pinball folder. So for me, again, it's HV Pinball, Future Pinball, and I'm just gonna paste that here. And now we need to apply this to futurepinball.exe. So in order to patch that, you're gonna double click the executable. And now you're gonna select the two executables Terry has told you, futurepinball.exe. Executable successfully patched, there you go. He also said that we needed FP loader. That is in the BAM folder. So we're gonna run that again. Four gigabyte patch.exe, say yes. And now we're gonna point it to FP loader.exe right there, open. Executable successfully patched. Okay, we're good to go. So let's go back over to the guide here. So we have done the first step, Visual C updates, the BAM update, and we've just done the four gigabyte patch. So now you're ready to play. We just need to do some settings. So uh, Terry's guide has some settings for you here. I'm currently on my desktop and this might vary slightly for your cabinet. So first off, Let's make sure we have Future Pinball's settings correct. So Terry says you must have the correct video and editor settings for this table to work correctly. I included a picture of these settings. So let's take a look here and load this up a little bit. And for desktop, looks like we want to load Future Pinball. And we're going into the preferences, video and rendering options, I assume. Looks right. And Terry's settings has Display one, I look good. I look good there. Uh, no rotation, I look good there. Over here, we got playfield reflections and mirror. Playfield into ball, that looks good. Over here, line. Use texture compression is unchecked. Okay, good. Anti aliasing is set to none. Default camera is full table two. Default camera is full table two. So ensure all those settings and then click OK. Close up future pinball, just make sure you're good. If you're on your cabinet, check and make sure your settings look this way. So the difference here would be the rotation of the cabinet. Everything else looks to be the same. So now you install your table, uh, you know, for retro flare, you would grab the FPT table, throw that into your table folder, and then you would grab your uh, config, which is uh, 
to the actual config behind the table. I'm not going to show you loading a, a table today, but uh, then the pup pack goes into pup videos, which like all other pup packs is under pinup system, under pup video. And there's also an option for an 8K high quality ball. Um, you need a pretty powerful system to do this, but this should allow you to update and play the table. Let me know if you have any other additional questions. Uh, either use Pinup Popper, which already has the script options, or FP Loader to load the table. As Terry notes here, do not load a table and run it from future pinball executable directly. Again, if you have any questions, we're down here in the comments. I'm always reading, and we are here to help. There's instructions also in here on how to enable some more advanced features, how to mess with your PhysX profiles, which allow things like stronger flipper strength, and other things like that. These are all in the scripts, and Terry walks you through that here. If anybody needs a video for that, let me know. We can always look into that. I hope you've enjoyed this, and again, we are here to help. So leave a like on the video. It drives more people to find our content, and uh, we really appreciate it here. Thanks for your time, and hope you have a great day.